From the NB3 Rock Studio Headquarters, this is your Roar of 64 One Minute Memoir with your host, James Potter. Today's episode is called, Of All the Unmitigated Gall. When we last left our heroes, Codges and Chick's dad had just read from the Sunday Tribune the embarrassing review of the previous night's debacle at their Our Lady of Light church. An emotional shockwave rocks the living room, generating a mushroom cloud of mortification. My God, what will the neighbors think? Gushes Mom, rubbing her temples. We're branded for life! Our neighbors are Mormon, says Codge. What do they care? I had to crack your skulls, barks Dad. You're both grounded until further notice, and you can kiss your band goodbye! What? Short-term gain renders long-term pain, grumbles Dad, folding the paper for emphasis. Think about that. Oh, come on, Dad, cries Kodge. That's not fair. Being ambushed by this article isn't fair, Buster, snaps Dad. Of all the unmitigated gall! But... Like it or lump it, Buster, bellows Dad. Ah, doo-doo-wop. My inscrutable protest is followed by a moment of speculative silence interrupted by Codge's contrite voice. Dad, can Jimmy and I at least get our gear from Nick's basement? Only if you're back here in 30 minutes, barks Dad, or you'll both be grounded until you're 18. Hey, that's not fair. Codge is two years older. Shut up, Jimmy, snaps Dad, the top of his pate glowing peptabismal pink. We'll be over in a few minutes to get our instruments, says Codge, hanging up the receiver. Walking to Nick's in new fresh fallen snow, an unearthly calm haunts our whipped spirits, our mismatched breathing, inconsistent footsteps, and my oblivious activation of the Sinclair's vehicle hose signal are the only evidence of animate life. Flipping on Nick's borrowed transistor radio, the Beatles, Michelle, opening guitar strains, escorts us along the path of rumination to the Baker residence. Damn, sighs Codge, kicking the white powder. We could have learned this song. It's just after 11 a.m. as Nick escorts Codge and me into the Baker basement. Our friend tells us all hell has broken loose in his home because of the occurrences over the past 48 hours, climaxed by this morning's Tribune review. Beat the Needles is history, and Nick is sentenced to the confines of his house until the new year. Unfortunately, Dad did not say what year. He's so pissed. Has he connected us with the Playboy? asks Codge. No, thank God, sighs Nick. I thought he would have caught on by now. No thanks to that Tribune article. Packing up the gear, Nick has been granted permission to help Codge and me schlep the instruments back to our house. Upstairs, the doorbell rings as Mrs. Baker's voice, from two floors above, mutely yells, Nicky, go see who's at the front door. Okay, Ma, shouts Nick. Looking out the basement window facing 13 South, Nick howls, What the hell? racing to the basement steps. Come on, guys! And that is your roar of 64 One Minute Memoir for Thursday, April 13th, 2017. I'm James Potter reporting from the NB3 Rock Studio, and I hope to see you again. Until then, journey to the center of the 60s at beattheneedles.com. Beat the Needles.